Look, at the fair you can have rides and you can have theming, but never in the same place. But the places with decor definitely had fun with it. Like this little corner we found outside the Weird Mall Expo Hall with animal statues. These are distant cousins of uh, the dinosaurs at uh, Prehistoric Gardens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the missing link between them and the mind trains okay. are nature's wonderland. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, that's where the pickled eggs went off, too. <laughs> I like this pink polar bear. Yeah. That's my new friend. Just across the hill from the great outdoors was a section called the Park at the Lagoon. The lagoon within the park, within the hill, within the fair. This is like legit just a nice park, and it's yeah. wild to me that it's just in the fairgrounds. Yeah. I'm used to the fairgrounds being the parking lot that the uh, sports stadium shares. Like most of the fairgrounds we've traversed so far has been parking lot. Yeah. And then out here there's like nice greenery. Right hey, the Blues Brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like they took those off the roof. Yeah, I've, I've seen those exact Blues Brothers statues in like a pizza bar. <laughs> The Universal show has gone way down. <laughs> this is a great place for Instagram. Yes. <laughs> a plus Instagramming. It's a. This would be like a typical senior portrait picture. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I like waterfalls. Don't go chasing them, though. You can't tell me what to do. Aha! It's a pride fence. Nice. Pride and cars. All of California, together in harmony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Happens to never be 52s with that. You're a lobster, huh? Stop! In keeping with the whole pop art thing of the fair, this corner was decorated with LA pop architecture. Colorful recreations of famous Los Angeles landmarks that were definitely smaller than the real things, but more conducive to photo ops. I just want to see all the things! I mean, same. <laughs> I'm a museum completionist. Okay, so in addition to the at least three real Ferris wheels that are in the fair... There's a representation of a Ferris wheel. Yeah. Three steps removed from reality, according to Plato. Yeah. I think some of these may have been from the Zoo Light show we went to last year. You know, that's very possible. They they do look familiar. Yeah. The one event we went to without vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> so many lamp posts. And a corn dog. Everything else we've seen is what California Adventure was trying to compete with. This is what California Adventure actually should have had. This actually would have been very cool for California Adventure to have. Like how Legoland has like miniature cities. Exactly, exactly. They would have miniature experiences like that. Mm-hmm. And that would have been more fun for locals. They've been like, oh, I've never these been recording. I know this thing. Like, I guess they did it a little bit with like the Palace of the Fine Arts and stuff and the Golden Gate Bridge, but like, they should have gotten way more specific with them, like this. Mm-hmm. If it weren't for Michael Eisner's like obsession with puns. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Like it was weird that Disney was trying to parody all the places instead of just Disneyland. Like Main Street USA is not a joke on small town America. Yeah. And you would think they would have realized the appeal for a Disney park would be. And like, I think this is a permanent structure, but they like yeah. put the observatory yeah. towers on top of it. It looks like it, yeah. But it still looks like Griffith Park to me. <laughs> <laughs> Palm Springs Tramway. Get, getting farther and farther. We get farther. a discount on that at Universal. Really? Yeah. We're getting farther and farther removed from LA, but still. So here, here's all the... Uh, all the photos of the real places they're representing. Yep. Queen Marie, Cabazon. And yes, you knew it was coming. Of course, those landmarks included dinosaurs. Between La Brea, Cabazon, and Discovery Cube, there's a lot of dinosaurs around here. Yeah. These are the pride dinosaurs. Yes. Yeah, I finally found that dinosaur. I don't 
<laughs> okay, th this guy this guy looks like he's from um, Prehistoric Gardens. Oh my god. Hey. Guys, can I have a churro? <laughs> oh, finally, a hole in the, like a, a stick your face through thing that makes sense. So if we're in Pride Dinosaurs, we have the Byronosaurus Rex right here. <laughs> And one of these replicas was actually a functional recreation of its landmark. Should we get a Randy's donut to share? Uh, Ooh, that sounds fine. Should we? Good. We can. So yeah, here's one more bit of food we tried. Can I get a glazed old fashioned? Uh, actually, no. Can I get a uh, chocolate old fashioned, please? In all my time living near LA, I still haven't actually had a donut from Randy's. So, so we are checking something off the bucket list for all of us. Exactly. Yeah. They look exactly like the Universal Donuts, only like more authentic. I figured. Mm -hmm. I'm also just sort of assuming that the Randy's Donuts provided here will be authentic to the Randy's experience. Yeah. But there's also only so many ways you can do a donut. Alright. So we got a chocolate ray, old fashioned. Because this is it's also warm. A, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, oh, that is a nice. Melty. That's all the donut I'm gonna have. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That is solid. Nice and cakey. I understand why now this is all thing. Other than the Gucci. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the only actual attraction we found here. As long as you consider museum stuff an attraction. Ooh, vintage camera museum. I just feel like I have to whisper to my camera, this is your family heritage. These are your ancestors. Look. Yeah. Your grandfather was a camera just like this one. Okay, where's a Bolex? Because that'll take me back to 16 mil film class. There was also information about these and other famous LA landmarks. Bronze Creek Boat in Burbank is host to a great classic car show. Every Friday from it's also 4 to 10 p.m. It's also where the Beatles had their first taste of American drive-in food. Walt Disney was the regular oh, the oh, the oh, My birthday Walt dinner! That it was the Time studio commissary because he and his animation staff ate there so long. Oh, nice. If you've ever enjoyed a Cobb salad, you can thank the Brown Derby. It was invented there by thank the, the Phoenicians. <laughs> Some of the information may not have been comprehensive. Randy's Donuts is the first thing passengers recognize when they're landing at LAX. In the movie Iron Man 2, Tony Stark sat in the hole of the giant landing. I mean, sure, but that, that, that's only one thing that happened with Randy's Donuts. Oh, we got Trader Vic's in the lineup. Tiki! It's following you. T Trader Vic's is from San Francisco. This LA is on the beachcomber. And in the atrium, connected to the Flower and Gardens Pavilion, whose entrance also had a cartoony replica of a Los Angeles landmark, there was an exhibit called Books, Movies, and Art Come Alive in the Atrium. Kind of a clunky title, but it provided a second room full of literary themed decor. This is an Instagram spot right here. Mm. Actually, it's a coin. Yeah. Any coin in there? No, just coins. I hope the shows on the Tom Sawyer stage are just bringing kids up and convincing them to paint the fence. <laughs> Legend of the Western Ghost Ranch. This decor was a little more detailed than the decor at America's Kids, but it wasn't quite as brave because America's Kids used real copyrighted book names, none of this cowardly skirting the trademark stuff. As soon as the Warner Brothers license expires, that's what they're calling Wizarding World. <laughs> Yes, it is I, the categorizing cap. Nobody specific chocolate factory, mind you, just a copyright free chocolate factory. It's Red's cousin. Or sister, or possibly girlfriend. <laughs> Either one, yeah. Captain Quizzical Brunette. There are so many public domain piracy books you could have gone with here. But nope, that's Jack. Okay, but Alice in Wonderland is in the public domain. Why, why, why do they have to file the serial numbers off of that one? And also, they got Jumanji, like... And those are the Tennille illustrations as well. And those are the broad categories of different types of stuff we saw at the fair. Next time, the thrilling conclusion. Ah, fair.
is a veritable smarkest boy, darkest boy, darkest boy. After the gates are shut, each night when the lights go out, it can be found on the ground all around. <laughs>